welcome to Let's Play Monopoly. So today's game, wow, look at that, I get to go first. Look at that, I already have Baltic Avenue. Oh, I need Baltic Avenue. Alright, not good, just visiting, that's okay. I let Arthur take a 2 to 1 property lead, for now. Phew, it's tied up at 2. Really? A bank error in his favor? Really, Arthur? Game, you know, giving that money to Arthur? It's alright. Arthur will buy a railroad. It's good. Look at that, I have a monopoly already. Wow. Right, get out of jail free. Oh, that's fine. Alright, I do need a railroad. Four to four. Phew. Look at that. Only 190. He saved ten dollars by paying ten percent. You know that the nice bank error in his favor. Alright, this is not good. Arthur already has two railroads. That's fine. Alright. I would like to get, you know, two more. Or at least you know, at least have some properties in line, so I have enough just in case. You know, when Arthur, you know, getting a nice monopoly, even the railroads. I don't mind if I get a, you know, a rail, get a monopoly in the railroads. So Arthur will get out for free. Wow, he has a get out of jail free card. So I really need Reading Railroad and Short Line. Nearest utility. All right, that's also not good. Arthur will have buy that. Wow, this is really not good. He has three railroads. Am I gonna have to, you know, get rid of one? Am I at monopoly? If all right, one ninety one. That's good. Let's see. I still need boardwalk or park place. That would be nice to have. I'll buy Venter Avenue. So I really need Reading Railroad. And of course, Boardwalker Park Place. Look at that, Arthur finally has a train outlet. So let's see, what does he want? He would like St. Charles Place. Charles, yeah. And of course, I do have to reject his trade offer. Come on, I miss Boardwalk by one. Take your right Oh, that's horrible. Arthur has all four railroads. That is horrible. That is horrible. That has to go. That has to go. That has to go. That has to go. And that has to go to make a trade for a Reading Railroad $1,000. Wow, this is really bad. Reading Railroad for $1,000. That means I have to save up while having three railroads. And I thought I was playing well. Obviously, I was not. Arthur cut all four of the railroads. And I still need, you know, boardwalk or park place. <gasps> yep, it is mortgaged, unfortunately. Let's avoid these railroads. Let's stay on properties that I own. Arthur is headed to jail, especially now boardwalk and park place, because I can't afford Oh, come on, that is not good. Reading Railroad has to go to pay for that. There's Monopoly number two. So, let's see. Get out of jail free. That's good. Six. Oh, come on. 190. Give you. What can I give you? Or not you. Let's see. You can take. What do I have two of? Alright, I'll give you Mediterranean Avenue. Let's see. How much can I get it for? I have a monopoly, so. Let's give up this monopoly to basically... No, actually, let's go for... Let's see, 
And maybe 300 and a railroad. Let's see if we'll take that. Obviously, let's go down to let's do. You get you get my monopoly. Oh, let's go yeah down. Let's see if we'll take three hundred and not Atlantic Avenue and B and Rail. Let's see if we'll take it. He said yes. So let's mortgage that, that and that to pay for that. That's good. All right. So I gave up that monopoly. I mean, they still have the yellow monopoly, so that's okay. I just did that too. So take a walk on the boardwalk. Wow. It missed Illinois Avenue. I will buy it. See, I got a nine. You get assessed. That's good. I don't mind getting assessed. Let's see. I have a chance at the red monopoly, a green monopoly, park place. All right. I didn't think I was going to get the green. I had to get both of them to get the green one. All right. Go. So we don't have to worry about the railroads anymore. They also, you know, could later on trade for them. Yep, and I did give him a trade outlet because of that. Good, 480. Let's also, you know, save up some money. Ooh, that is not good. You paid too much. I still need a light blue property. Wow, I can't believe I forgot about it. All right, only 12 to Arthur, that's okay. Well, that's mortgage, so... Come on, I can't hang that hospital, but I have to. Arthur got Tennessee Avenue. 10, good, waterworks. 10, my piece is going to jail. Will Arthur pay off the jail fee? Highly unlikely. Uh, if he lands on, see, he lands on boardwalk, really income tax refund. How is that helpful? So I would need doubles or double railroad card. But of course, I don't own that railroad, so so I lost fifty dollars. But at least I landed on a community chest. It could give me money or lose. Xmas fund matures. Thank you. See, I'm not. I still need money to buy things, so I'm not going to unmortgage yet. So, Arthur would like St. Charles Place. But of course, his offer does have to be rejected. Oh, if, we get, if I get Indian. Oh, yeah, there you go. At Arthur just got Indiana Avenue. And my piece going back to jail. Clearly, I got out easy. Let's see. He needed a sick. Oh, sick. Go to jail. I wanted the double. Oh, I wasn't reading railroad mortgage. It is more. So why would I? Why would I room for the double railroad card? Well, I get a seven again on my way out. Oh, is it the school tax? You inherit a hundred dollars. Wow. Thank you. So let's see. Arthur is also going to get out of jail. I did not pay off his, his jail fee. So Arthur got a ten. So, ooh, electric. We need to get an electric company. Let's see. What about, let's see. Still, Boardwalk is still out. Park Place is still out there. Park Place is no longer out there. What a surprise. Now Arthur would like to make a trade offer. So he would like... Baltic Avenue, which makes sense, but his offer does have to be rejected. So what? Oh, eight dollars? Really? Oh, back to jail? Are you kidding me? Well, I don't think, I think I've run out of, you know, collect a hundred dollars on community chest. Hundred fifty. Good thing it was not the double railroad card. That would have been bad. Two and two. Yep. Pay no rent. And if I keep going to jail, really advance to go. Wait, a seven again. 
Let's see what this card is. Second prize beauty contest. All right, ten dollars. Few good things, not that card. Where is that note? Next card. Let's see. Arthur would like to make a trade offer. So he would like St. Charles Place. But his offer does have. I do have to say. I do have to reject his trade offer. Up to four twenty. Let's see what. Oh, still Pennsylvania Avenue still out there. Pay poor tax of fifteen. Well, I really need a light blue property. Twenty eight. Still, you know, not as bad as seventy. Fine. Let's see. Good life insurance matures. One hundred dollars. Fifty back to Arthur. Six. Good. Two dollars. Well, I need a six or a nine. Or not six or a nine. A seven. I mean, eight or five. Pop. Mess that up. Let's unmortgage Reading Railroad and B&O Railroad. Let's unmortgage to that. Just in case it lands on it. So you do have enough money for, in case to buy, you know, Pennsylvania Avenue. See, that's 320. <gasps> all right, let's see. No, all right, I'm gonna do Arthur's work, you know, gonna help make it so easy. Reject this. You give me Vermont Avenue, I'll give you $179. It's a good deal. You get Vermont Avenue. I mean, you, I get Vermont Avenue, you get $179. It's a deal. Arthur said yes. No, I don't have to worry. Jail? Really? Again? Wow. Jail again? Martins apparently really wants to go to jail. I don't think it wants it. It's just it's being sent. How about a one and a one? That would be nice. I could buy, you know, electric company. Really? I got a seven again on the way out. Eventually I will hit the school tax one. Go to jail. Wow. Go to jail. At least it wasn't the school tax. Finally, getting out for free. It's got sent right back to jail. That is not so. Collect $50. Good. Now it matters if I get the two blue. Now I don't want Arthur getting it. Medic train avenue. Two dollars. Twenty-six dollars. See, you gave it to me, so you owe me the six dollars. So hop on over. Set few. At least this time I own boardwalk instead of park place. Arthur bought St. James Place. Two to Arthur. Thank you. I'll buy it. Pay me $50. Also, the double railroad card really could have been acceptable. But hey, $50. I spent $100 on Oriental Avenue. So, of course, why would I give him New York Avenue? Thank you, Electric Company. And then $50 right back to Arthur. I mean, Arthur hasn't even landed on it yet. I was waiting for that card to come out. I was wondering why I had... This took so long. Yep, pay no rent. So, 26 back to Arthur. So, now it does matter if I get Connecticut Avenue. Thank goodness I made that trade, even though technically I didn't have to. Thank you for landing on Electric Company. $16. Now, of course, that didn't add a trade outlet. So it's six. That's he has one, two. Let's see, three. He could have four. Yeah, one, two, three, or four. He could have only five. He could have six. Baltimore, because I gave him one. 
Let's see, he could... What does he want? Oh, Baltic Avenue. Hopefully, you know, I'll be able to unmortgage those properties. $45, that's good. Really, a bank error in his favor. That's the second time he's got that this game. So you got a bank error in his favor. And now he gets the double railroad card on the one that he owns. Good, all right. Let's unmortgage Baltic Avenue and St. Charles Place. Ten. Thank you, $50. I need $50, so there's, there's still two properties out there. One is Connecticut Avenue, the other is Pennsylvania Avenue. As of now, doesn't matter who gets Pennsylvania Avenue. It does matter who gets Connecticut Avenue. I would, of course, like to, of course, get that. He got a nine. Will I pay off Arthur's jail fee? I could. If I land on one of his railroads, I'll give him $50. Well, you're not getting Electric Company. Hey, what is this? You are assessed. That's okay. So, out you go. You got a nine, but... But, of course, that property is mortgaged. Really? Alright, let's unmortgage New York Avenue. Even though that means I won't have enough to buy Pennsylvania Avenue. Come on, I needed a five. What are they? Get Pennsylvania Avenue. If you get that, there's a better there's a better shot that than I would get, you know, Connecticut Avenue, or you can just get them both. Although, thankfully, that means uh, that it was a good idea to make the trade because I would have stopped the trade outlet. Feel he got assessed for repairs. Fifty dollars. Oh, come on. Five would have been better, but four is good. Ten dollars. Seven. Yep, Tennessee Avenue. Six. Good. Twenty-five dollars. Phew. Let's unmortgage Kentucky Avenue. Bring that back. Money to Arthur. But I get money right back to me. $50. I need $50. Five. Five. Can't. Don't go to jail, Arthur. But in the meantime, you're going to make a trade for Baltic Avenue. And of course, your offer does have to be rejected. So now I live in Indiana Avenue. Really? Arthur gets to go out of jail for free. Ridiculous. Free. And my piece is going to jail. All right, $20. That's fine. $20 off the jail fee. At least there's no at least a chance of him paying off the jail fee now. I have unmortgaged some properties. I needed him to get the 10, so he needs a Four or a ten to pay off the jail fee. He got a six, so oh, we get another chance. Eleven or four. Well, he got a four, so we paid off the jail fee. Fifty dollars. Thank you for the fifty dollars. Really? I got a seven again? Leaving jail? Income tax refund. I'll take it. Phew. Thank you, $28. That is very helpful. Let's on mortgage Atlantic Avenue. Bring that back. Wow, thank you for $16. Good. Let's see, when the person can unmortgage the properties, of course, depending on, you know, what happens with 
you know, who's going to buy the remaining two properties, up, then, uh, then I guess I'll decide what to do with houses. Or am I just going to make trades? And I picked the wrong one. Picked Atlantic. Let's head more. Pacific Ave and Venture Avenue. Let's bring those back. Really? Xmas fun matures for Arthur. Really? I was counting on that go money. And I have to give it away. Advance to go. Collect $200. That's good. I just, pay, I just, you know, get my go money taken away. And if I get a four, I get to you know that next go money gets to go away. Thank you. Look at that. There is Monopoly number two. Oh, come on, he gets a get out of jail free card. So I guess I'm going to possibly put houses there. Thank you, Arthur. $16. That's just as much as New York Avenue. It's just like he landed on New York Avenue. It's no longer 8. It is 16. Alright, Indiana Avenue. Who will get the final property? Or will neither of us get the final property? So Arthur would like Boardwalk, but his offer does have to be rejected. He's only, as of now, only one more property to unmortgage. It'll be more if I land on Pennsylvania Avenue. That would not be good. Advance to go. Collect $200. That's always nice landing on go. And get it. $200. Really? All right. You know, income tax. It's cheaper if you land on a reading railroad. It just, it just, it's, it, it's just the money goes to me instead of you. It's not, not you, the bank. Thank you. $18. Seventeen, eighteen. So let's hop on. It made another mistake. Phew. Oh, come on. Indian Avenue. Finally, Venter Avenue, $44. Thank you very much. Up to $374, down to $354. Nearest utility, all right, big number, or oh, at least a five, at least a five. Thank you, $10, $100. Oh, I was like, at least a five. Instead, I get a ticket right in the reading. Let's unmortgage Marvin Gardens. Fuck, all right, so we can save. Who will get, you know, Pennsylvania Avenue? But in the meantime, I guess I'll start building houses on the light blue property. Light blue, $44. That's almost what a house is worth on the blue property. You paid $44. Well, unfortunately, Arthur, I'm probably going to have to reject your trade offer. But it's fine. Look at that. You want New York Avenue. And your offer does have to be rejected. 469. Not good. Really? He gets second prize the beauty contest? You don't, to, you don't have to land on boardwalk this time. How about another time? Two and a two. Doctor's fee, pay 50. All right, let's put three houses here. Good. Please, there's, you know, get some more money there. Let's take a chance. Let's put nine houses here. Hope if he lands it, then I'll get the money back to pay for Pennsylvania Avenue. He did not land on it. Income. Tax. Well, it's all right. You still have another shot at it. It's just a two, four, five. He got a five. Wow. Four hundred fifty dollars. That's good. I need four. That's why I took the chance. Now I have enough just in case. Six. All right, Pennsylvania Railroad. That's okay. 
<laughs> Life insurance matures. Let's put hotels here. No one else can buy hotels. Of course, like just keep enough money just in case. Because Pennsylvania Avenue is yet to be has yet to be sold. So Arthur would like to make another trade offer. What does he want? Baltic Avenue. Would that make sense? Your offer does have to be rejected. It's Arthur's turn. He got an eight. Forty-eight dollars. Probably should have put a house there, but I'll just take forty-eight dollars profit. Because I would have lost what lost one hundred fifty and gained what? Well, I don't think it's one hundred fifty. It would have been what one hundred twenty. So I would have lost thirty dollars. At least that would gain forty-eight. There's turn one. There's the jail fee. All right, fifty dollars. So I got the nine, three. Look at that, five hundred fifty dollars. That is not good, Arthur. Twelve oh nine. This probably a mistake, but Nancy's not a mistake. First, uh, let's take Pennsylvania Railroad off his hands. For one thousand dollars, it's a good deal. You get a thousand dollars, and I get Pennsylvania Railroad. It means I'll have three. <laughs> you know, it will decrease the maximum amount I can give you from fifty to forty-eight. It's good. Three and three. So, yes, I easily could have built more houses on the yellow property, but. It's all right. Cle clearly, just worrying about t worrying about which one would be the green. Go to jail. At least they keep the money. And Arthur's going to jail as well. At least that I get off for free. No, nope, but I can pay off Arthur's jail fee. He's has a chance. He got it. Actually, I think he's gonna, probably going to get off for free. Well, look at that. Arthur like to make another trade offer. So, he would like Electric Company. Probably should have just went for Waterworks. Let's see, eight. That's okay. Right, Arthur also got an eight. Use your get out of jail free card, Arthur. Exactly. He's not going to be suing. Now, yep, get out of jail for free. $32. Really collect $50? I need to find it on Pennsylvania. If. Five, oh, come on, $35. Look at that, $44 right to me. That's good, I need $44. I have no problem collecting $44. 12. And yeah, look at that. $50. Thank you. $94. How about don't get doubles? Thank you. $550. Dollars yet. 881. Take you off the boardwalk. That cost you waterworks. You just to go for the railroad, but we're going to go for Waterworks instead. It'll get rid of a trade outlet. So I'll take Waterworks off your hands for $675. It's a deal. Wow, he, wow. Can't believe you landed on both of them. $550. He landed on no. Let's all take short line off your hands for $825. It's a good deal. You get short, no, you get $825, and I'll take short line. I'll get rid of it. It's not getting rid of a trade, I'll do that next. 
25. And I will take State's Avenue off your hands for $239. This is good, you get $239, and we get rid of a trade outlet. State's at its deal. So now let's start building houses on the, the yellow property. Maybe one of us will get Pennsylvania Avenue. He still has a few more trails. He still has Park Place. He still has Baltic Avenue. He still has New York Avenue. Yep, uh, probably gonna have to buy you know, Baltic back from him. Four to four. All right, North Carolina Avenue. Nine. All right. I was hoping he'd get. You know, he's like, you know, I want to. You know, have that property sold. Income tax. All right, that's okay. Income. You paid two hundred dollars. So, good. I own that property. Ten. Yep, Virginia Avenue. Yeah, but oh come on, where's the double railroad card? That's four hundred dollars. If you get the double railroad card. So, let's see, pay school tax, all to guess to go to pay for that. Wow. Thank you, $44. Let's see, he's only, what, seven spaces away from Pennsylvania Avenue. Really? Income tax? He got an A, but it's okay. $200. That's good, I needed $200. Let's on mortgage Baltic Avenue. I just lost 200 from, you know, income tax. Six. All right, Meta Trade Avenue. So, all right, they'd like to make another trade offer. He would like New York Avenue, which makes sense, but his offer does have to be rejected. All right, $18, that's fine. I mean, he did land on it two times in one, you know, turn, so I'm not going to get mad that he didn't land on it. Really? Virginia Avenue? I want a one and a one and a one. I'd like at least one of us to get that property. So then how am I, if I get Baltimore, then I need to trade for Park Place on the green property. You know, the green. Ten. Let's stay, and of course, we can't can't do that if no one has that, the bank owns the property. That is not good. $600, so let's put houses on. It depends how much, how much money do I have. Eleven sixty. dollars All right, let's put three houses here. Good, three houses, so no one else can buy houses. Even a one and all, I'm getting a five on the way out. So, Arthur would like to make a trade offer. Let's see, what does he want? He wants Baltic Avenue. And of course, his offer does have to be rejected. And my piece is going to jail. Will Arthur pay off the jail fee? He needs to be out of jail to do that. There's my first turn. Two and a two, all right, so he needs an 11 or 12 to pay off the jail, the jail fee. Oh, come on, did I get an 11? He got a 10 instead. He did not pay off the jail fee. $20. So I lost, let's see, yeah, $42 in jail. Seven, all right. Twenty-six dollars. It's okay. All right, all right, come on. Get a three. Or, yeah, get the three. Oh, come on, he got seven instead of a three. All right, ooh, but thankfully my piece is headed up there, so I need a nine. Or an eleven, all right, that's okay. Six hundred dollars. Let's put more houses. 
Uh, we'll do, yeah, six. I have enough for Pennsylvania Avenue. If I do six. 397. I got a 12 instead. Four and a four. And I got a seven. All right, that's fine. Thirty dollars. I'll take it. What am I supposed to do? Reject that thirty dollars. Yeah, that's up from twelve to thirty. Thirty. So Arthur would like boardwalk. And his offer, but his offer does have to be rejected. Hey, all right, free parking. I mean, if he keeps letting my Monopoly, we may not get a chance to, to do all that, you know, buying, at least getting Baltic back. All right, $40. See, Waterworks, if it makes money, that's fine. Seven. Oh, I needed a six. $200. That's okay, I needed $200. Up to $852. Two hundred from go. No. Oh, what? How am I gonna get a two? All right, five fifty. That is not good for Arthur. Let's put hotels here. Of course, no one else can buy houses. So let's put hotels. Good. Thank you. Hotels is good. So let's see, you got the five. He does have ten dollars. So I wonder if I will get a chance to save up, I believe, seventeen fifty to trade for trade for Mediterranean Avenue back. Twelve. Twelve to Arthur. Eight, eighteen to Arthur. Two to two. Not good. Get a ten. He got a five. Twelve hundred dollars. That is not good for Arthur. He can't be giving me twelve hundred. But thankfully, Arthur has done my work for me. So Arthur would like New York Avenue. So we're gonna forget about your train. You're going to give me Mediterranean Avenue back for one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. It's a good deal. You get seventeen fifty. You get your money back plus five fifty, and then and I get and you lose a trade outlet. It's good. So seventeen fifty. It's a deal. Four to four. All right, let's get a three. Oh, come on, I wanted a three. Get a five. He got a seven instead. Ooh, double railroad car. That's good. Four hundred dollars. I needed four hundred dollars. Up to four forty-three. Obviously, can't do hotels yet. Arthur did not. I didn't get the go money. Let's. He got a six. So up oh, sixteen dollars. Is that good for Arthur? Up to right, four. I need five hundred for hotels. He got an 11. Arthur's headed to jail. Arthur can't be headed to jail. He needs to be out of jail. He can't land on Pennsylvania Avenue if, you know, he's in jail. Arthur, right, he still has the boardwalk and park place in the orange, right? Because I have two red. Two purple. I, he could get the green. He could get the green property. Oh, come on. I missed it by one. I don't think they'll be suing you now. All right. $10. That's good. I need $10. Up to four seventy. dollars All right. Let's put the hotels here. Let's put $500 on hotels. Good. Hotels. Even though if I land an income tax, I'll have to mortgage a property. That's okay. There we go. $200. So, let's see. 
eight. All right. Indiana Avenue. Three seventy nine. Seven. Arthur's going to jail. Let's see. I got seven. All right. Fourteen off the jail fee. All right. That's not good. Give him money off the jail fee. Turn two. I would need doubles to pay it off, and I didn't. Not good. So let's let's make this interesting. Arthur's gonna give me two two hundred. Let's make it now. Let's make him know that he'll have to. Let's make you make this interesting. There, you go, Arthur. See, he's doing my work for me. So Arthur would like New York Avenue. So we're going to forget that. You give me North Carolina Avenue for $400. Let's make it interesting. Now it matters which one of us gets Pennsylvania Avenue. Four, and it just prevented a trade outlet in the future. Four hundred. You're down to 545 assets. Go to jail. So now it matters. Now I don't want him to get... Now I want to get Pennsylvania Avenue. Don't get in the left. I feel eight. All right, don't get three, Arthur. I would like to get Pennsylvania Avenue. Pacific Avenue. It's like Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Avenue, not Pacific. I own Pacific Avenue. He got a seven. $150. Not good. Really? Wow. He's got a seven again getting going out of jail. Bank error in your favor. Well, now I would really like to get, you know, Pacific Avenue. Actually, I don't think I have to make any more trades. Shouldn't, I mean, shouldn't have to, but it would be nice to get the green property. So I get a Monopoly. No, oh, come on, I needed a nine. He got a seven. Eleven fifty. That is not good for Arthur. Can't be giving me eleven fifty. Even though, let's see, what does he want to trade for? He would like Boardwalk. So I believe I don't think I can trade for that yet. Fifteen oh seven. Look at that! Finally, every property has been sold. Two hundred dollars. That is not good for Arthur. Can't be giving me two hundred dollars. Thirteen eighty-seven. Eight. Ooh, four fifty. Not good. Wow! It took on uh, what? F at least forty over forty minutes. So let's trade for Park Place. Let's take that off his hands. So, right, this is this will hopefully be the final trade, at least by me. I'll take Park Place for two thousand dollars. It's a good deal. Arthur gets two thousand dollars, and he loses a trade outlet. Two thousand dollars. All right, no more trip. Hopefully no more offers, because I don't think I'm going to go for the orange. I'd have to give him 3000 Oh, come on, assist. Wow, assist. you got to be kidding me. You have paid your debt. Pay hospital. Wow. I don't think I'm going to buy any more houses. You probably meant that was... Now I have to spend the money on, you know, unmortgaging properties. Arthur, if he gives me... There we go, eleven fifty. That's good. Eleven fifty. Let's unmortgage these properties. Arthur, yeah, he still has one more trade outlet to go. It's the north, it's the orange. I'm not taking away that one. I don't think I even could. I need 3,000, plus I have to unmortgage all of these. There, I have unmortgaged all the properties. Good, $25. Good, avoid the green. Go to the short line, go to short line. I didn't, I just didn't want to get assessed. But I did. 11, that is not good. 550. 
And again. Good. Let's gotta watch out for those orcs. Let's put let's put five houses here. Well, I'm gonna trade for boardwalk and then just not put any out. Usually when I make the trades, I usually would you know put houses there. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Arthur only has 708. Let's see, if he lands on a yellow, I think, yeah, I think the game would end if he lands on a yellow. 223. Five, alright, $20. That's okay. Four, alright, luxury tax, that's fine. Four, ooh. Oh, I thought the game was over. $40. Really? Income tax? Five, all right. Really? It's income tax refund. Pay port. At least it wasn't go back three spaces. Thank you. $100. Well, just land on the yellow. Even, you don't have to land on the yellow. Just land on any monopoly. Even Baltic and Mediterranean. Just not in. Actually, in he, did, he does lose the go money, though. So, hop on over. Pay Arthur $50. Wow, $5.50. All right, he is down to $52. I don't know, let's see, we're up to $7.93. Let's put three more houses here. Let's increase the damage. He has $52. That's the, one of the four properties he owns. 12 ends the game. He got a 5. He got a 10 instead. Let's see. 2, 3, 4 left the mortgage property. Even 11 left the mortgage property. He got a 10. Wow, the first time he lands on Pennsylvania Avenue all game and it ends the game. Alright, so that is the end of the video. So I will see you all in the next video.